I have so been looking forward to spending some time with you and just I'm saying, so grateful. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. I'm just, really honored. Thank you for your grace. Thank, thank you. Thank you for your style. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for your strength. It takes a village. Oh, honey, don't. For sure. You, you didn't wake up like that? <laughs> what? Come on. Nobody wakes up like this. Nobody. No Nobody. one. Tell me about your childhood. What was it like growing up? I am from a little town right outside of the city of Toronto called Malton. I was raised real close to my grandparents. My dad is from Jamaica. My mom was actually born in London, so I, I was able to have like access to a lot of places in the world. When did you realize that, huh, I don't quite look like everybody else? I think I switched schools in about grade two. I remember I ended up making friends with these two girls. One day they like would, would they were running away from me during recess and I caught up with them. I was like, why are you running away from me? And they're like, our parents said not to play with you because we're gonna get your skin. That was the first time I actually heard it and I was like, whoa. How did that impact you as a young child to, to have to deal with that? Growing up, I was always so into what someone else thought about me, someone else thought about my clothes, about my hair, about everything about me. How do you describe vitiligo? Vitiligo is an autoimmune disease where your skin thinks that your melanin is like a common cold. The same way your body would fight off a cold to keep you healthy, it fights off the melanin in your skin because it thinks it's sick. Is it frustrating to you sometimes because people want to talk about the vitiligo? So, so frustrating. Especially there's certain things, like I remember going to Europe when I first started doing interviews and this woman, one of her questions was, how do you feel beautiful? Like, what? why do you feel beautiful? I just had to look at her and I was like, you're so ignorant. <laughs> Girl, you're walking in the Victoria's Secret fashion show. It blows my mind. I can't even believe it. But to, to know that you are in many ways changing what, what some people might think of, of, of being in, and being that type of show. Yeah. You I'm a trailblazer. Oh, it, girl. It's, it's insane. It's actually insane to me. By just being yourself, the things that you can achieve, it's so crazy. I'm going to be the first model with Vitiligo walking for Victoria's Secret. It's a door opening for like everyone. We are all the same because we're all different. People will always ask me like, what would you like to say to little girls with vitiligo? It's bigger than that. It's so much bigger than that. It's those little girls with vitiligo. It's that little girl who didn't like her hair. It's that little girl who had freckles. It's that little boy who got teased because his lips were too big. It's, it's everything. That is just a portion of Winnie's story from